so this fourth area of focus I'm going to demonstrate, and this is the topic of stylistic ornamentation. Now, the word ornamenting, ornamentation is pretty straightforward. If you ornament something, you're decorating it. Now, different styles of music decorate things differently. For instance, a pop singer decorates a melody different than a, a jazz singer. Now, when I say jazz, I'm really referring to a throwback to like the swing era, uh, mu singers around that time. Jazz has moved on since that time period, but you'll notice there are people like Michael Buble, Frank Sinatra is still popular. So I really, when I talk about jazz singing, I'm really talking about a throwback to that era. And uh, I'm going to use the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow as an example to uh, differentiate between ornamentation for, let's say, a jazz singer compared to a pop singer singing this song. Now, in jazz, jazz ornamentation, here's how we'd ornament in jazz. Number one, we do a lot of sliding in jazz ornamentation. Number two, we change things up by backbeating and moving things around, which, by the way, we also do that in pop. In jazz, the big thing that changes it uh, from jazz, makes it more jazzy instead of pop, is the way that you slide. Uh, so, but still, yet some of the ornaments, we have back beating in jazz, we have the sliding, we also have the ability to change the rhythm sometimes, and even to change the pitch, depending on how comfortable you are with improvisation. Now, uh, as you get into some of the bebop and real uh, other swinging types of jazz, uh, something else that makes jazz ornamentation really jazzy is the use of syncopation or doing rhythmic improvisational ideas that would be off the beat. Off the beat is if here's the beat one, two, three, four, off the beat is uh, uh, uh. So that's a very common thing to do in jazz is accent off of the beat. In this case we're singing a ballad where that's not going to play in as much. Now I'll demonstrate for you jazz ornamentation, but first you need to hear uh, I'm going to sort of robotically sing this where I don't do any ornamentation, it's just the melody. This will sound really plain. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Okay, so that's completely unornamented and I sort of made it a little boring too on purpose. But anyway, okay, so now as jazz, how do we make this sound like throwback jazz? So notice how I was sliding lullaby. Notice how that's different from when I do it in a pop or a more contemporary performance. And also, as I do this in the pop, notice that I'm going to do uh, just a little bit, because this song will get tacky if you overdo it, but I'm going to do a couple uh, little runs uh, if you listen to uh, watch American Idol say, I love it when you do the runs, dog. You'll hear that uh, Randy says that all the time. And they're just, that's one way that you ornament in pop. So I'm going to do a little bit of that this time. So that would be a little more contemporary, a little more pop. Now in jazz, we do this slide thing. Somewhere, somewhere. Notice how I didn't go somewhere. I didn't slide on some, I actually slid on where. Uh, you'll hear sometimes where people do that slide on some up to where in jazz, but usually the slide happens on the syllable that's coming. Uh, another example of this would be um, if I do this, uh, there's a land, a land. 
I didn't slide on uh, I slid on land. Once in a lullaby. Now, in pop, what they do is they do this somewhere, some, and I'm really exaggerating, but somewhere you go, you sort of jump up to the note right under the note you're shooting for, this note, somewhere over the rainbow. It's a little more slamming under the note and sliding up. So again, this first phrase in a jazz way, somewhere. It's very smooth. Pop. Somewhere over the rainbow, rainbow, way up, 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 way up high. That'd be more jazz. Now, I'm really exaggerating here, and you're going to find these lines, you know, it's not cut and dry, but it's very much something you have to listen to uh, when you're paying attention to the differences between those styles. Okay, now uh, in discussion about ornamentation in classical music, uh, that's a little more of a, that's a little trickier of a topic than jazz. First of all, uh, a lot of times ornamentation in jazz and popular styles of music is a more improvised thing and a lot of times represents the artist that's doing the improvisation. In classical music, it's something that you go to college and you write doctorate papers on uh, ornamentation. I mean, it's uh, it, it's a very tricky topic. I, I strongly discourage you from just writing in your own ornamentation on a classical piece. Uh, if you're <laughs> if you're going to audition for anyone who uh, could hire you to sing classical music, um, so but ornamentation in classical music would be something like this: this uh, song from very common book that you work on in singing lessons for singing foreign languages is 24, 26 Italian songs and arias. Um, this uh, Alessandro Scarlatti song, O Cessate di Piagarmi, here's an example of ornamentation in classical music. Uh, if we listen to this line, Frede sorde a miei martir, Frede sorde a miei martir. If I am to ornament that, the first Frede sorde I'll do normal and then I'll ornament the second one. But this ornamentation is something that's already been researched, studied, figured out that it fits into the time period. Uh, probably the um, early 18th century uh, when this song was written. So. Frede sorde a miei martir, Frede sorde a miei martir. So notice on that second one I went da 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 da. That would be a way that I ornamented, but I didn't make that up. Uh, so talk to your, if your voice teacher is not really sure about uh, uh, classical ornamentation, which isn't out of the norm. Uh, I mean, it's like I said, it's a huge topic. Uh, there are books that you can look at universities, talk to professors that teach opera. They can send you in the direction of a great vocal coach, which is not a vocal instructor. A coach works more on those kinds of things uh, to uh, teach you uh, proper classical ornamentation. <laughs>